Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, Eddie for Food for Thought. I am doing a, a small um, project indoors while the wife is out. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to show you what it is. Come here. It's my mealworm farm. So these here are mealworm pupae. I can bring this out and just show you. Oh, get the... That's what the, the pupa looks like. So that's going to take, a, I think it's a, a week or a couple of weeks, that turns into a beetle. Uh, it's the darkling beetle. So I'm just collecting these just now because um, it's easier to take these out so when they do transform they're not going to compete or eat the, the worms. So I'm going to take these out into a different box. So this is just a, a, a cheap painter's tray um, from actually the dollar store yet again. Um, but what will happen, I'll put this into another another container. This is just a, a drawer um, of a shelving cabinet. So I'll put this into the, the drawer. Um, they come out here, they turn into beetles, no food. Walk out here, drop out, drop past the lid. <laughs> Take those back. They'll drop out, but they can't walk back in. So any of the the, the larvae that's still inside here are not going to get eaten by the beetles. So these this is they don't like light, um, and they have been outside. So I don't know if I've actually lost any, or actually there a lot of them are starting to turn into pupa. Um, but these are guys. They're all sorts of different sizes, from you know this tiny little thing, if I can actually get it in my hand, just tiny little one, so, and these are all the same, uh, all the same meal, type of mealworm, so obviously they're coming from different sizes, egg structures and whatever, because obviously you've had some that have already gone from this to this, and some that have gone darker, and then gone into the, the pupa stage, so they like crawling into the egg box, and then they'll just herd in there, and then they crawl out again whenever they feel like it. Um, and then the rest are oh, you get them all stuck under here. So they're all different sizes. And then in here, I gotta tip that back, make sure it doesn't tip on what the new arms on. Oh, well that way. Oh, my wife would not be pleased. Let me get that runaway back. Oh, shoot. Knocking it down. So I'm going to tip this back without tipping it over. So what we're trying to, what I'm trying to do just now, if I can zoom in, is find all the, the larva. So you'll find it that this one here is larva. And if I can find one, this one here, and this is what we're trying to—that uh, what I'm trying to find. So I gotta get those picked up. So let me zoom out again. So you just come in here, and then you. Luckily, the larva will be on top. Because mealworms tend to either want to sit around in the dark. Or dig down into the the meal for food. So these are what, what I'm trying to collect just now. These will turn into the beetle and then start to populate. There are five. I ordered five thousand from a, a guy in Ontario. I think it was Ontario, maybe even Quebec actually. But very very good price. So I get these in. About five thousand, and that will definitely be a, a good start um, over the next couple of months to get the the mealworm going for the um, the birds. You can give them if I get ugh, big handful. This is just oatmeal, really really fine ground oatmeal. 
Um, so they will stick to your fingers. So I don't know whether you, that will gross you out. But that's only when your hands are covered in dust. So I don't know if I'd actually covered any of the, the pupa by that point. Eek. Oh, oh, see if I can grab one. Oh. Come here, come here, come here. Right, this one here is just starting to look at going into the pupa stages. When it goes white, that will soon be at its last stage. Move it into here. And you got a lot of them that will start to go like that and then start to wiggle. Um, and you can actually pick up some of the pupa and the pupa will curl up and kick as well. Yeah, this one? Oh, this one. I don't know if you can tell it. So obviously it's only just turning but it hasn't gone hard yet. But that will go hard and then start to to pupate. So, so that's my farm. So this is just the start of what I'm doing with this. Uh, I'm trying to get into natural feeds. Um, I'm going to show you a trick in a few days. Uh, it's not a trick. Um, I'm just. I'm also going to be, you know, typical of being around rabbits. There's lots of poop and lots of poop. There's lots of flies. So I'm actually going to use some of the the flies to create maggots and then maggots to feed the the quail. Um, and obviously I'm going to be getting asked if I'm... Oh, I've got another runaway across the table. Come here, come here, come here. There you go. Um, I've got a few. Um, you're going to ask me, you know, why... Why am I going to, you know, start feeding um, live insects? Um, I will be with some. I have gotten maggots before, small, tiny, small maggots, and then thrown them into the sand, and they they were really quick at you know picking those up. Um, I can throw in obviously the live mealworm, and they will eat them, and there's going to be you know a lot of goodness in them. Um, the huge thing about mealworms and maggots is especially mealworms, is 50% of their body weight is protein. So this is a huge kick of protein for the birds. Um, so when any of the, the feeds that I'm getting is 20, 24, 25%, I think, the feed of protein. Um, if I want to obviously increase that to increase the, the eggs, then I can start giving worms. Um, I can either give them live or dry them. So you just got pan in the oven for you know low heat, but it will slowly kill them and then dry them out, and then you just you can crush them up, put them into the feed. And I did that. I bought um, a bag of um, dried meal worms at Walmart. It was like seven ounces for like seven dollars, something like that. So it wasn't cheap, but it you know was really good. Um, Birds absolutely loved it, so it's a try. So I'm going to keep going, and once I get into different stages, I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm building my factory. Okay, this is just this first start. See you later, Eddie. Goodbye.